user has joined your channel. <laughs> Welcome to Split Fear, everyone. It's uh, it's a day. That was a little jerk. How long uh, have you been waiting to say that? Uh, about an hour ago when I thought about nice, it, because I thought it was kind of nice. funny. Very nice. So, yeah, welcome. I'm uh, I'm Tom, and this is... Uh, my name, Jeff. Just kidding, it's Geordie. Yeah, how, did, how does it feel? It yeah. feels good to be alive, <laughs> dude. You do that this... every single time. Like, you'll be like, I'm I'm, I'm Geordie, and this is Tom, and I'm like, whoa. And I, like, struggle to reply. So. <laughs> what, what, you don't know if I'm going to make you say it, or if I'm going to say it for I don't you? Know. I'm just, like, looking at the levels or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It is a very nice, uh, brisk... 41 degree day here in a, that's in a, not even a joke though in like australia it is fucking disgusting i went to the um, shops early today and it legitimately felt like someone was pointing a hairdryer at me like yeah. that's what it felt like so yeah. i now work in a workshop and um let's just say it is unpleasant in there to the point where we are, we don't have like it's a it's a nitty-gritty uh workshop so we have like Bare metal fans shit. And once it gets to a certain point, it just blows hot air on you, like a hairdryer. Mm, so um, nice. I was really like uh, wearing a layer of sweat today. That's a nice uh, little image for everyone for the week to start off this episode. Protective armor, Jordy. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I could get like a five centimeter like thickness of armor on me from today, dude. It was disgusting. So I have a bit of a drink here. If you hear me drink, then fuck you. It's so hot. It's very important to mention. Yeah. So. Uh, uh... I hear you have uh, something to present. I have a to me very today. broad uh, subject for and us I'd today. Like somewhat talked about it while we were setting up. Yes, somehow. I did. Today <laughs> we're talking about free will. Free and will. Do we yes. have it? Okay, cool. It's a heavy subject. It's a very heavy subject, and I'm going to start with one question: Do yep. you believe that you have free will? To a limited degree, yes. Really, I, I would love to hear why. Well. It's impossible to work with that influence. I feel like I'm being influenced by the environment around me and uh, social cues and all that. So I can decide things, but the choices I'm presented with are very much influenced by the world around me. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take it a massive step even further back than that. Okay. So this is something that I've given a lot of thought of because I'm quite, I don't know, I guess you could say like a nebulous thinker. I think of like all these sort of ridiculous... I'd say more neurotic than uh, yeah, that, <laughs> nebulous. Does, honestly, like that works. It does work. It's yeah. a good word for it. And I've always had this like, I've always seen the entire world as a big game. And it's kind of depressing, and it's okay. very... It's this, I'm going to sound like an absolute fucking Charlie yeah. Manson this episode. Yeah, I'm going to say you. that's quite the frightening like, statement right like, there. Um, I'm going to sound fucking insane, and there's going to be one person who is listening to this, he goes like, man, I get you, and he is going to kill 17 <laughs> people. The only difference is, is that I've managed to not kill anyone yet. Managed. I love the words you're managed. saying right yeah, now, I mean, Jordy. every single day I'm like, just fucking stab him dude like it's just what you have to do sometimes i mean realistically everyone thinks like that like hey i could stab this person but it'd be bad you know see a lot of people won't admit to thinking that mm. but i'm almost certain that everyone at some point has just like had that one oh, thought seen... you're in the shopping center and some guy's going like real slow in front of you yeah and you just go i'm gonna fucking kill him in your head or whatever and, you, and then you just go like oh take a step back and go like chill out it's someone like, needs to it's literally a primal instinct to defeat like obstacles in your way it so. is. yeah <laughs> yeah but i've sort of seen like if i'm analyzing like i don't when i wake up i'm not like playing a game if i was like nebulously <laughs> analyzing my life at some point yeah and i sort of saw it as like a big game right yeah but it's a game that you can't choose not to play you're born to play it. I've yeah, I've thought about that more in like a, a probably a more sensible kinda, way. Not even that. Like I think about it like I'm living no matter what. I can't not live. If exactly. I'm not living, I'm dead, and that frightens me. So yeah, <laughs> I've thought about yeah, that. Yeah, but like I, I'm I was sort of thinking in a in a bit of a different way, obviously than yeah. you were. But I'm, I, I I'm seeing it as like when you were born, right? You are raised by your family until you're yeah. able to think for yourself. Okay. Um, and then when you can, you have to do things like you have to go to school, right? Makes sense. You don't have to, Julie. You but you do. To. You do if you want to, like, achieve things. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is <laughs> mandatory. Yeah, there is some sort of, like, like weird that thing you, about you that. You do have to go to school these days. Yeah. In most countries. And then what do you do after you finish school? You uh, get a job or exactly. get higher education. Exactly. Yeah. 
because you have, you to, have to you have to Can't you have to do that, that right yeah. because if you don't then you just sit at home and do nothing yep right that's called a neat geordie a neat yeah do you do you not know what a neat is i don't know what a neat is you don't oh well it's it's like a 4chan term kind of it's oh, called no one. employment employment education or training it's those like creepy like basement dweller people who have anime figures and like they just uh, are on 4chan videos, all day you know What's that? Hot glue videos. I was just about to mention that as there well. There you go. Yeah. See? That's because we have about five of them sitting is, right here in our studio. Jordy, how do you know what that is? How do you know what that is? Because I'm on 4chan. Of course I know what that I is. I used to go on 4chan. You used to? Okay. I used to, but That's I don't anymore. That's why you thought anymore. it was blocked in Because Australia. I thought it was blocked. <laughs> yeah, no. It was like, I was a little more, uh... That desensitized me from everything 4chan, to be honest. It's not even fucking... That's While not I was e- on there. That's like normal shit. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Well, not that specifically. I'm just saying my it's time, on, my PC, time on 4chan did it, is yeah. what I mean. Okay. Anyway, um, you have to play along with the game, get a job, contribute to society. You have to do that. Like, you're laughing. Do but... you know why I'm laughing, though? Why? This is like, you said before you were like Charles Manson or something. Yeah. This is like literally like hearing a eulogy, like, you have to play the game. You know, I just broke out. I didn't want to play the game. I just, I killed people because well, they, I'm playing they the were game. playing the game. <laughs> I'm playing the game. Just I know. The way you're I, I know. Is like, I sound fucking insane. It's like and a I've, manifesto. I have mentioned this to people before, and yeah. everyone has told me that I'm fucking insane. So I'm going to get like shit for this. I know I am. I don't think you're insane. I think you sound like you're insane. Yeah. Like That's the I'm, thing. I'm. I'm. This is just like when I get in my head about stuff. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm like this is just like how my brain analyzed my world around yeah. me. Yeah. Right. This is just my projection of rationalization of my brain. Right. This is how my brain un- is trying to understand how this entire mm. world works. And I tried to think, what would happen if you didn't play the game? Right. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so fucking crazy now. You mentioned <laughs> I can't get <laughs> yeah, over. It. Yeah. But um, what would happen if you didn't? Right. So say what you wanted to do, what your free will, what you wanted to do with your life, yeah, is just travel. Right? You wanted to see everything. Yeah. Say you wanted to visit 50 countries before you died. Right? That's but, a big... Jordy, not many Jordy, people can do that. You can't travel unless you play the game to get money. Exactly. But let's just say you had some sort of complete outing. Yeah. And you, you, you knew someone who owned a plane and had no schedule. like Whatever. Right? Okay. Let, forget how... What would that person's life be like in your eyes, do you think? If you could literally do whatever you wanted... I've uh, I've thought like I don't like traveling myself, and the way I think about it is that you are uh, you your own life is kind of shit. I guess like everyone kind of thinks about that or is in that situation. Yeah. Your life is shit. I want to travel because it's better somewhere else, and I just feel like going somewhere else. It's like hey, these people are just the same shit as I am. You know, like they're just living their shitty life. They probably think my country is better. So in my mind. I don't think traveling's really like a solution to me. That's just me though. So. Well, I agree. I'm not a traveler either. Yeah. Um I've I've been overseas once. Um and I did really enjoy it. I went with my dad yeah. to Singapore for a few weeks. Yeah. Um I think I mentioned that actually on the podcast once before. Yeah, you're talking about the camera thing. Oh yeah. yeah. God, that was funny. But um but I I see it as like if, if I'm given the opportunity to do it, I'll do it. But, like, I also yeah. kind of see it as, like, it's a temporary getaway from everything else. It's an escape. It's an escape yeah. for a week or two, and then you come back to it again. Because, and you go for a week or two mm. because of the fact that the companies that you work for, they have to give you time off, right? Yeah. Otherwise, they will be working you until you die, yeah. which would be very early if you had no breaks ever. But they give you breaks so that you keep working. Yeah, so that you can have, like, as you said, a break. Like, it's, yeah. they very much got it down to, like, a parametric way. Like, they've worked with health professionals and psychologists. Like, hey, here's the absolute maximum we can work someone before they, have, like, have a mental breakdown or quit. And so, not yeah. everyone is going to work you to that. No one's going to work you to Amazon levels. You know, <laughs> not <Amazon>. everyone <laughs> is going to work you to Amazon levels. But they give you that time, which is good. Like, I like that part of yeah. the game, quote-unquote. But, like, my my question is, like, I want to see what other people think about... I don't believe that anyone has free will. I don't believe you can, ha- you can truly okay. have... You can have it to a degree. And I think if you have 
uh, an amazing skill, you have a talent, you have something yeah. that means you don't have to play the game, Yeah, that's how you get out of it. Like, if you're born a Bill Gates, for instance, he dropped out, and now he makes, like, a squillion dollars while he's taking a shit, right? Like, you know, he, he managed to find his mm. niche or whatever, you know, and he made his money. And now he doesn't have to play the game anymore. He he's... doesn't have to do anything. He I, won, I quote, feel unquote. like, um... To, like, kind of talk about this, we have to define what the game is and what free will is. I think, Cause... like, the ability to do what you want without any um, interference or obstacles from anything is okay. my idea of free will, right? So, if yeah. whatever your idea is, you can do it, yeah. if it's possible. But what if it's influenced? Is that still free will? No. No. Because okay. it's not your free will. Because in it's... my mind, free will is like the main part of free will is not having influence. Or not being yes. influenced. Yeah. yeah, I can agree. Whereas you're more speaking about it as in like obstacles. And decision making and all yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess it is like an interpretive term. Like it's yeah. it's definitely different per person. And that's interesting to me even to hear that. Because like I'm so in my head all the time to know what other people are thinking about yeah. like this is, is super interesting to me anyway. You Sorry. don't think other people are real, though. Like <laughs> I know, I don't. Okay. Golly, I'm going to come off insane on this <laughs> yeah. podcast. But anyway, I mean, I, I, I've thought about that before, and I, you know, you know, it's weird. But... It's I've I've delved down a lot of rabbit holes <laughs> okay. in my head, like and stuff like that. These All are right. the two, those are probably the two big ones. Me having like times where I'm like, yeah, people are actually real, and like. <laughs> This is just one big fat I mean, game that if I'm. They're not really. It doesn't matter if I kill them, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's. I haven't had that thought, thankfully. But yeah, uh, yeah. you know, who knows? You know, if I'm thinking if I don't want to play the game anymore, I'll just bust <laughs> the the gats out and start clapping, sure. folks. You know. Yep. Yep. That's the thing that I said just then. Mm. Please uh, use that as your message tone. Yep. Anyway, um, I wanted to know if you think. Actually, what you would think if the entire world had completely free will, what would happen? I think there wouldn't be a society, because, like, society is is a structure, and having a structure means you're limited. So I don't think anything could happen, like, socially. I don't think that we, we definitely, like, no one would be, uh inventing anything probably i know i feel like people invent shit like i invent shit For i actually fun. know actually hold on i invent shit because there's a problem i want to solve exactly yeah exactly that's what i was going to say like okay. usually like if you're in a say a business sense you need to make something because you need to make money yeah right and yeah. if you didn't need to do that you could just get on a self-driving plane or mm. something you know like you could just get on that that was just free to you you can go whatever the hell you want it to. Take your friends. Go wherever. Okay. Like, who's making the plane? <laughs> like, because the, the, guy who, okay, would, the sure. guy who would make the plane is sitting at home doing whatever he wants. Let, let me ask you something, Jordy. If yeah. you had free will right now, like, after we're done recording this, what would you do? Where would you go if you could do anything? Um, Where would I go? I would probably, like, I've always wanted to go to a European country. What would like, you do there? I don't know if I had literally like if I could literally yeah. do anything. I always put so much thought into what everyone else would do for some reason. Okay, I yeah. never really like oh, this is an interesting question. I think I would probably just like if I could do whatever I wanted, like find a, a like a cool castle or something and I would just stay there. Okay. You know? You would get bored of that though. I would get bored yeah. of it and then I could so do whatever I wanted after that though. What's the point of having free will if you could just go out and do shit and they get bored of it well that that's that's <laughs> true i mean yeah the, uh, yeah that's a good way of putting it i guess i think um and that is to say like i i sound like i'm shitting on the whole society thing yeah, which i paid chills for the government but like the 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 system the way that we have life at the moment is yeah. good like it's not there's there could be a lot worse yeah it could be world yeah. war Two. And that could probably be a lot better. It's good for like, us. Like, like Sweden, least. you know, where yeah. everything's like... You never hear of anything coming from Sweden. Because everything's yeah. just fine there. You know, or Finland or whatever. Like, literally, when is the last time you heard something come from Finland? 
I've, I've like not exactly. even heard about Finland exactly. in fucking ages. Yeah. Exactly, or like fucking Greenland or anything like yeah. that. Like they just they just have it sorted and they're just up there <laughs> yeah. being nice and cool. Yeah, yeah, literally as well. Yeah, Since yeah, it's like cool up there. How come Greenland is 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 ice and Iceland is green? Why is that? It's a pretty fucking cool question. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. Is that grade three, dude? Yeah, yeah. Very funny. But um, I think, for me, when I put all my thought into this, I sort of, like, make myself a little bit anxious, because I'm like, even though I don't really want to, I don't like to be put in a box for anything, I guess. Yeah. And in reality, I'm not. It's just the way my brain is conceiving my reality. Everyone's going to do that differently, right? Yeah. Like, and, and the only way for me to know that is to talk to people about it and seem insane for a second until I can explain myself. Mm. But I think when it comes down to it, the structure that we have now has room for improvement, for sure, don't you think? Yeah, I get... There is a lot of, like, there's a lot of classism and shit and, like, the middle class is kind of being erased currently and all that, so... Yeah, I mean, we have the the typical problem that a lot of people know of where if you're... There's, there's people out there with billions and billions of dollars and... That are fucking hoarding it, Jordy. People with nothing. And then in reality, even with the structure we have now, what the fu- once you Once you get a certain amount of money, yeah. there's the, you, you, it's pointless to you. Once I reckon once you've yeah. made about, like, uh, once you hit that billion point, there is nothing that matters at that point. I guess that is kind of, like, if you watch Notch on Twitter when he got a billion dollars, he just kind of, like, did random shit. Exactly. Like, like he did what a fuck the load hell acid do you do that? when you yeah. can literally walk into a store and buy the entire thing? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you, what, I, I can't even fathom that. That's kind of my uh, thoughts on, like, what you're talking about. Like, if I could do anything, like, I would want problems, because if I don't have problems, I don't have anything to, thing to solve, and there's problems. no resistance, there's just, uh, I'm just kind of... You know, literally need doing problems shit. to do yeah. to function, I think, which is why, like, when people want, for instance, if you're you're in a bad headspace, I know a lot of people like want it to be good all the time, yeah. and to be in this like amazing sort of everything's happy go lucky. But in reality, the only times you're happy is in the contrary to when you're feeling bad. That's what heroin is, and people on heroin don't seem that great. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I actually watched, like, a documentary on um, people who were addicted to heroin and, like, what it was like, and it was super yeah. interesting to me. They kept saying it was, like, the feeling when you get... Like, from a few people, from, like, when you get into, like, a nice, like, bed, like a nice oh, blanket, yeah. Yeah. when it's, like, sort of cold and you get into that and it's, like, mm. you're extremely comfortable, which is... I don't know. I, I can't see how that's worth injecting shit into your eyes <laughs> but uh that's acid jordy is it yeah that's acid that goes in your eyes no well Everyone that's if goes you want into to... your dick hole jordy oh that's right yeah and in between your toes and <laughs> oh in, fuck dude in don't say toe. that yeah that, that's what you do it dude when you get numb everywhere that's else. not what you do though you that's do. not i assure you i'm 100 percent. i'm sure no. i've seen people do it in real life no <laughs> okay. i haven't actually yeah. i think i've seen there was a few like a movie i saw where someone did that and it really skeeves me out. I don't like yeah, yeah. needles that much. That's like I saw um I saw uh, like a jigsaw movie or something when I was little or like some no it was Wax Museum. Have you seen that movie? Funnily enough, no. There's a the, there's a part in the movie where like someone is hiding under floorboards and they they cut someone's like back of the ankle like artery and that Whoa. really fucks me up and now I'm very sensitive about the back of my artery. Like I do not like seeing that kind <laughs> yeah. of shit. That's yeah. like um when I was younger um Someone took me while I was really young to see the movie Mirrors. Oh with, yeah, uh, yeah. With uh, <laughs> what's his name? Is it Kiefer Sutherland or is it um Kiefer Sutherland? That's the fucking Metal Gear Solid voice actor. Yeah, but he's he's <laughs> he's um, uh, twenty four. Do you know him, Kiefer Sutherland? And what the fuck what are you the talking fuck about, Joey? <laughs> Bi- uh, what the hell is Die Hard guy's name? Bruce Willis. Bru- yeah, I was going to say Bruce Willis. They look identical. Willis, like, yeah. If you look them up, they look very fucking okay. similar, okay. I think. Anyway, in my head, which doesn't mean much. Mm. But one of the two of them, whoever was in it, um, all I remember is, like, I think it's, like, the opening scene where, like, it's in a railway or something, and this guy's, like, shaking his locker, and there's a big mirror, and it smashes, 
mm. because you know ooh, mirrors are spooky and there's a guy in there and then he like cuts his throat and now i'm like very like in your neck right now yeah i'm like i'm like holding it now because <laughs> yeah. like i'm thinking about it mm. like i'm i'm like, that just anywhere i'm like super careful about now yeah which is it's funny how like when you are that age literally anything can set you up for life yeah, I, I think I had almost, like, a very similar reaction. My family were, like, watching Mirrors out, like, on DVD or something, and, like, I came in from, like, on the computer, I was playing, like, Half-Life or something, and I saw it, and I watched a couple of minutes, and it freaked me the fuck out. I've never seen the whole movie, but... Yeah. I It's it's insane. You see, like, little bits and pieces, like, these horror concepts, and they just fuck you up as a kid. Mm. I remember, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there was another one where this, like, lady was in a bath, and yeah. then with, the like, something, and they, like, she cut her like jaw the bottom of her jaw oh, off God. and like filled the bath it was like green it was disgusting i okay. couldn't sleep for like two years after that i had to like sleep with a dvd on in the background <laughs> to keep my mind off stuff and yeah. now still to this day i sleep better with something on in the background yeah me too. i like having fans on it's like a lot of white noise yeah it's kind of calming like if i have a tv show on i'll probably get to sleep quicker oh, yeah. than if i'm like yeah. just dead silent which is very weird to a lot of people but i like it i've broken a couple of pairs of headphones sleeping with headphones on i just yeah see that i can't do we were talking about this the other day and yeah. you said you, you like hated this and i kind of I was concerned because usually, like, mentally disabled people need, like, weighted stuff, and having headphones on my head makes me comfortable, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's, like, it's just yeah. easy to fall asleep if you're, like, listening to something and you're, like, yeah. sort of out of it. But, like, for me, I sleep on my stomach, so I would literally suffocate if... Because I, I, I have over here headphones only, so yeah. I, w I can't turn in them <laughs> yeah. and then lean on them, otherwise I'll break them, so I'll literally just die. I had, like, a... I had a a weird issue the uh a couple of weeks ago i got like i got like a cold or a virus or something and i went to sleep and i woke up and like my my hair was wet okay and yeah like my hair was wet my shirt was wet and my pants were completely soaked i was like what the fuck happened and then there was a big like circle patch in my bed i didn't piss myself what happened uh, is that this say. virus caused over sweating so I would literally fall asleep and then, like, sweat constantly, like, 24-7. My hair was literally as wet as I just took a shower. Like, oh I could literally squeeze God. in those drips coming out. But I was so tired. I was just fucking angry. I was like, who the fuck is pouring water on me? I couldn't figure it out. I was so fucking angry. I <laughs> got up. Leaking? <laughs> I walked around the house, like, trying to find whoever the fuck was, like, pouring water at me. Like, I locked <laughs> the back door because it was unlocked or something. That concerned me. I went back to bed and it happened again. I just got up, like, literally fucking angry, like... Even more so, I was like, I was like, <laughs> like growling, kind of like grumbling and shit, and I was just like fucking pissed. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. I just I do weird shit like that. Like last night, it was really hot in my room, so I went out where the aircon was, and then I was like half asleep, and I got up, and my the back door like windscreen was open. I was like, someone's fucking watching me, oh, and yeah. I just looked at the window. I was like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> like, oh. I don't know. I just do weird shit when I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, like I. It's always, every now and then I, I sort of get like a feeling like there's like, I'm I being watched or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's, oh man, I really fucking sound insane. Do you know I? why that is though? Do you know why you have the sense of being watched? Is it some sort of like survival instinct yeah, again? Yeah, it's a primal yeah. protection mechanism. If you, yeah. If your brain senses that you're in a dangerous situation, then it'll give you like hints essentially be like hey you should fucking watch out yeah there's something about this that yeah. seems off to you then you should yeah you should be concerned check there's the brain does a lot of like weird shit like that like uh have you heard when you sleep in a new place half of your brain stays awake really yeah the the part of your brain that works on audio localization stays awake so you can echolocate things well not echolocate but you can localize things in your sleep so if someone gets close to you it'll you'll wake yourself up Huh. In a, like in a new place, it's you know. So wow, like, that's really interesting. Primal cavemen can sleep somewhere dangerous, and they can hear like if a leopard's approaching them, they can just wake up. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. That explains, I guess, like why it is a bit harder to like sleep in a new yeah. place. Yeah, I guess it's, that's it's distressing. That's, yeah, because I mean that that sort of like tangents off again into like what I was talking about originally. But it doesn't really matter like what we you know talking <laughs> yeah. about. But like it I mean, reminded it kinda me does though because it's uh, you know it is what it is. Um, <laughs> the brain is the like the human brain is the only thing that's able to conceive itself that's not true we talked about this a while ago that's called sentience and if you if an animal can recognize itself in the mirror it can perceive itself 
but we are capable of analytical thought that uh, the animals are not able to. They, we they are can. able to contemplate our own existence. There, there was a Coco the gorilla that got sad when someone died and then got sad itself because it realised it was going to die. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah. I think I mean, we are definitely a level above animals. We have to be, otherwise animals would be killing us. And we would, they would be, they would be making, (laughs) they would be making iPhones is what I'm saying. Like they obviously, they don't have the fucking level of intelligence, I guess, whatever the word is that we have. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Like, I'm not trying to like shit on your opinions or anything, but I I want, that's why I would do this podcast. I I want to hear your words. The reason that humans are like the dominant species, because we've adapted to standing, we've adapted to manipulating objects. We've adapted to like using the earth's resources. Whereas like the second smartest animal dolphins... They can't do shit. Mm. So they, we can't talk to them. We don't know how smart they are. We can theorize. We can look at brain waves, and they look pretty fucking smart. But we would like don't know if they can. I think they're also the only things. animals that fuck for fun. They rape for fun, Jordy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you heard about that? No. They rape. I people. guess so. To some people, they rape fish. They use fish as like flashlights, like literally, like they wedge them in a rock and just fuck them. And their their <laughs> penises are like arms. They move around and shit. <laughs> Yeah. To rock. There's also a um a diary of a guy having sex with a dolphin. That's quite a good read. A diary. Yeah. How much do you have to write about that? <laughs> There's quite a lot, actually. Uh-huh. There's a part where he describes that if a dolphin comes inside of you, you'll explode. <laughs> what do you mean? Because <laughs> they nut nitroglycerin or something. No, because if you think about a pistol, right, and then compare that to a sniper rifle... Okay. The barrel is longer, meaning that it gets more momentum. Okay, <laughs> so, so dolphin's not. penis it's is like a really shotgun long. Blast. No, it's not that. It's that it's so long that the semen accelerates so fast that it will, like literally rip a hole in you. No way. <laughs> yes. No way. And it's it's like. Did it's, he learn this the hard way? I have no fucking idea how he knows he has this. To have I, actually, no. He he like jacked off dolphins and he like sort of fucking. Fun. Oh yeah. He describes my this. My God. It Why is, do you know this? Because it's, like, linked on fucking 4chan and shit. Like, hey, look at this weird ass. I read it. Don't lie to me. You wrote it. Yeah, okay, I wrote that, yeah. (laughs) It is fucking a good read, though. Like, I'm annoyed because I do want to read it. Because he's, he's like, a fucking insane person. It's it's amazing. It's like watching The Room. You just, you're, like, witnessing crazy. Like, and he goes into so much detail. Like, it's fucked up. Is it is it like a series of events or his one time with a dolphin? It's a series of events. Like he ha- he has a relationship with a dolphin. <laughs> one specific one. Yep, one specific. Oh, okay. One. Did they get married or is it like I have no idea premarital sex because that's not okay. Oh, have you like um that. have you heard about the the dolphin house experiment thing? The dolphin house. Yeah. No. So there was in the in the ninth. No, it was like the seventies. Like when they were getting into like they just discovered acid. Oh, and yeah, they were getting into, like, weird thought experiments. They they partially flooded a house and then have had a woman live with a dolphin and they would do LSD together and the dolphin got so, like, sexually dependent that it wouldn't do shit unless she, like, jacked it off. So, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And the government funded this. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a lot of weird shit involving dolphins. They apparently have the brain capacity of a three-year-old. <laughs> So that's very okay. worrying. Yeah, like that's... The, like the the intelligence equivalence. Thank of you a for mentioning that, Jordy. That so makes that it a lot better. So that fucking three year olds. Why would why would you like equate that to that? Why would you like bring this? I in? just heard that, and we're talking about dolphins. Okay. I thought that that <laughs> tidbit of information would be useful. Yeah, sure. Except for that one guy who fucks them. In which case, now he's okay. a bad guy. It's more like now the dolphin, he's a bad guy. It's more yeah? Like the dolphins fuck him, but you know. <laughs> it's oh, a male... okay. I didn't realize it was that way around. It's a male dolphin. Sorry. I wish he was a female. No, the, the government house experiment, it was male dolphin, uh, female, but the dude writing about dolphins, male, male dolphin, male dude. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You know, whatever you're into. <laughs> okay. What is that, a, like a, a a blubbery? If you're not a furry, you're a blubbery. Like if you're a like blubber. the, Yeah. You're, I, uh, it's not scaly, because scaly is like scaly scales, is, obviously. Yeah, blubbery. I want to say there's genuinely a term for it that's like, because ah. the furry community is like massive. A- not am- that I would know about it. Amphisexual. <laughs> what? Amphibian. No, it's not amphibian. 
It's uh amphisexual. Yeah, amphisexual. There that we go. Fair. That's cool. that's we 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 patented that we by the patented. way. Patented. Yeah. Yeah. No, that copyrighted is. it. Not patented it. I'm not patenting anything to do with fucking dolphins because yeah. I don't think that's a good legal standing right there. <laughs> just in my honest opinion. I just don't trust like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is not how I work. You know, that's not how I play this game of life. Okay. Yeah. Maybe in my next one. We should probably talk about what we were. Uh, you do know, you believe you're going to come back if you die? What? Are you going to be reincarnated? What? Do you believe you're going to be reincarnated? No. Why not? Because I don't believe in like religion. Why not? You you could just, just you could come it. back with something else anyway. I'd like I I realize that the brain's just an electrochemical computer, and when it dies, fucking nothing happens. So. Yeah, yeah. Cause Except you get a huge hit of DMT. Nah. You're lucky. <laughs> We're all looking forward to that, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people that DMT's like expensive. I've I've seen like those cringe articles where it's like not articles like tu- like like Tumblr post shit where it's yeah. like if you take acid and drugs, it's like what how life is supposed to be you know like that's how we're supposed to see everything there is some truth to that like i don't know if you've ever taken acid before but no. you feel like a connected list like there is something like no, I, I, I know like there's something to it otherwise people wouldn't do it like it's not um it's i don't think it's r- real per se like it it fucks up your brain chemistry so much that you perceive things that aren't normal yeah like a lot of people speak about the machine gnomes, if you've ever heard about yes, that. Yes, I have, yeah. Like Joe Rogan speaking yeah. about that. That is, like, some specific connective, like, thing that happens in your brain where you can perceive, like, thoughts in a certain way. This sounds okay. like absolute jitter- gibberish, but... No, no, like, there's plenty of people who have, like, mentioned a similar thing. Like, it creates, like, a feedback loop, and it's... You just feel something. Yeah. It's, it's, you can't describe it, obviously, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Like, it's... I've I've always, like, tried to stay away from hallucinogens and things like that it's not even that bad but well i mean like, <laughs> mo- purely because of yeah. how much of an anxious person i am whenever i oh, yeah. whenever i do stuff like it will almost definitely send me into like a panic attack yeah i'm sure you know if you if you take drugs with like bad thoughts in your mind they'll get amplified yeah basically. like it's yeah. why and if people out there are going to try anything for the first time yeah. like by all means, try it. Have a trip set up. Be in a Have good a environment exactly. that you like. Yeah, like b- d- tr- do it in somewhere you're comfortable yeah. with. Like, if you're gonna do it, fair enough, dude. Yeah. Like, go for it. Like, mm-hmm. I can I can see why you want to do it, but like, just b- just do it somewhere where you're comfortable because I like you actually yeah. will go fucking like you, you have it to will be, be a terrible terrible time if you don't you really do have to be in a good mindset or else you'll like you'll if fuck it's up your, your first brain. time you you need to do it because you like you maybe need once to do it <laughs> you need to you need to as in like you need to do it in a place you're yeah, familiar with yeah. because you will you, you need to get used to it i guess before you can just drop it while you're doing a hike yeah. or something yeah. because you want to have a sweet time yeah. talking to the trees like in uh vietnam do you know what salvia is yeah, I've I've heard of it, but I want to know what it actually is. I've heard of it from fucking uh, comment etiquette. Oh yeah, yeah, big money. Yeah, he fucking did it, didn't he? I oh, I don't know if he actually fucking did Salvia, but he calls himself Big Money Salvia. No, he did because there was that one video of him in a car, like just freaking out. Like what? Salvia, it's technically legal. It's like based on a root or something. I could be wrong, but I thought Salvia was like hardcore shit. It's because it it makes you. It fucks up like the um, the like cerebellum in your brain. Right. Like it fucks up your sense of balance and like perception. So you do it. You feel like you're falling or moving and shit. But you can also like if you're lucky enough to like ignore that, you can feel like good. I guess so. You could, you know, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, weed in a way. Like you just kind of feel good. I guess. Mm. Like I've never done it personally because I'm in a fucking retard. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he, oh, mentally disabled. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Now, now you're in the, in the clear for that. There are a bunch of videos of people doing it and just kind of like wobbling around and stuff. And yeah, common etiquette. He did in his car and he was just like looking around, like whoa, whoa, and he started like falling and shit. So <laughs> it's like dumb shit. I don't know why people do it. Like you don't get anything I out mean, of it. It's. I think for most people, it's just like you just want to try it. Yeah, if it's there, you just want to try it. Like, I want to feel a bit different. I'll try it. You know? Yeah, try it once, but I'm you're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> I don't think anyone's addicted to salvia. <laughs> like, I'm addicted. I've to definitely feeling never sexy. seen that YouTube th- like uh, yeah. thumbnail. You know, like how I got over my salvia addiction. Mm. Mm. It's always like meth or heroin. <laughs> it's like make it interesting, good people. stuff. You know, but I don't want to fucking see you getting better off heroin. I want to see you get off goddamn. Uh, 
uh, crocodile. Yeah, croc- I don't think there's coming back from that. No, you can't come no. back from that once you're like toes come off and shit <laughs> that's, that's some gnarly ass shit dude that is so fucked up that you can take a drug that alters your mind so much that you like self destroy yourself like ego death yeah I think that's what it's called like when you that's like the, that's what the LSD you, that, that's what Notch had like he took like 10,000 times the amount that you're supposed to took and he just his like his sense of self just disappeared yeah you literally like Without killing yourself, kill yourself. Yeah. Like, you yeah. kill your brain self. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. Like, like who you are as a person dies Yeah, when you take that much. Like, you, you, your brain can't handle that. Yeah, you just so kind of... So it just fucking, like, folds in on itself and goes, like, yeah. well, this you're just now, like, a shell. <laughs> you're going to, like, a backup consciousness. Yeah. consciousness. You, can, you can do stuff, but you're not you anymore. I'm pretty sure you recover from it. Like, it's not permanent. I don't think you can recover from it. It's not just, it. like, a normal guy. Like, he... He fucking did that much, and he was like, he was on Twitter saying some really fucking strange shit. Yeah, but I mean, so does Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith, yeah. Like, he, he has to have done drugs. I don't he think ha- so. I don't believe he has. I I reckon he's a pussy ass bitch. I I'm serious. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon he was he was born into the fame, and it got to his head as a kid. Yeah, maybe he's just like crazy. Actually. I reckon I I I am almost certain he has never touched anything in his life. I, do you know why? Because mm. I remember this one story I I heard from um, when he turned eighteen. Yeah. He said to Will, "I want to have um my birthday in England because that way I can have a drink for the first time. Because when you turn eighteen in America, you can't drink. Of yeah. course, you just to be yeah, twenty one. Yeah. So that was it. He had to go to that length to have a, a beer. Okay. If he's really that worried about it, he's not going to have yeah, even tried weed. He's so alone. Like... He's so PC that yeah, he doesn't so PC even. Yeah, so PC that he like hasn't even snuck himself a little bit of vodka and yeah. replaced it with water in parents' liquor cabinet. You know. I guess now you say that the way I'm kind of interpreting that now is that he was like, he's he's. I guess it happens with every celebrity. You grow up and you feel so important. You feel so like that's what it is. Entitled. I'm, I'm almost certain. Yeah, that's what it is. Like people, millions of people listen to you, so you must be important. Everything you say must be gold. Yeah, you That's are. Kind of you are in, in, he, in his case immediately important. Mm. Like from the second he existed, he was important because Will Smith has always been massive. Yeah, like yeah. you know, especially like he's been massive from when he was born until now, which he still is. So like yeah. when he was coming up, as soon as he he was like, you know what, I think I can fit into this rap world, whatever it is. Mm. And he just started saying random shit, and it just worked. Like, really? and now it's it's feeding him to say even more stupid shit. I really can't think of anyone like as big as Will Smith. Like, he's just he's always been relevant. Everyone knows Will Smith. Yeah, literally everyone. It's because he's just like a, he's a nice guy. I think. Like, Do you know what the thing about it is? He's not even like wholesome. Like, he's wholesome now because of like he's a YouTuber basically. That but... and he's like old now. He's like sort of like understanding. I know, but like he's. He's, he's not old. But that's like, weird, though, to me. He's always been relevant. There's not been a point where he's like, oh, that's Will Smith old he, news. He, he can he can do almost anything. Yeah. He, he can be funny. He can be an action. Mm. He can be, like, action. He can yeah. do literally just about anything. He's been in, like, sad movies. He's been in, in anything because he's a good actor. I know. I was trying to think what bad movies has he been in. But... He's been in a lot of bad movies. Like what? I can't. I, I can. I can only think of I one. Mean, I don't even after Men in Black one. Oh, stuff. After Earth actually. That's, after yeah. Earth was dog he shit. He was pretty good in that though. Apparently, <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't yeah, seen it. I have. Um, after Men in Black one, I don't know why they made any more than that. And then there's the whole the fucking. Second one's sh- alright. What do you mean? I don't know. The second one's fine. Which there's one's the bald Chinian one? Is that number one? Um, no, it's the second. Some classic screenwriting there, by the way. What happened in the first one? I can't even remember. I just remember that, like, that's, like, a unique idea in number one. How many is there now? Five? Because I had four, and then they had that stupid fucking Channing Tatum one or whatever. In the main out. in the main cinematic universe, Geordie, there's three. <laughs> and then okay. in, in the extended Netflix universe, there's two others. There's two Netflix Men in Black movies. There's the one with, um... Uh... I want to say Thor, like Chris Chris Hemsworth, yeah. What? Oh yeah, that's yeah. who it was. That not was Channing Tatum. the one a yeah. couple of years ago. I yeah. think there is one with Channing Tatum. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Fucking hell. That might be the new one, or I could have just swapped them around. But the one with Chris Hemsworth. I think it is Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, it is. I I Channing Tatum sounds right though. I, I'm yeah. I'm sure they would have cast him. 
fucking yep. 22 Jump Street being the instant classic that it was, you know? <laughs> Name Jeff. I quoted it at the start of the episode. Still you relevant. Like 21 and 22 Jump Street, though. Huh? You like those movies. I liked the first one. I didn't I, like the second one as much. I, I like some parts of it, but it was mostly just cringy teenage humor. Yeah. Oh, if I watch it yeah. now, I'm sure I'd like want to shoot myself in the face. Yeah. Probably. Which is actually what happened when I rewatched Mirrors because I did that like a year ago. Okay. I rewatched yeah. it. And I'm like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna give myself some yeah. closure right now. And that movie is fucking horrible. It is on Netflix. I think it's still, it might still, be, yeah. like, still be on that. Seriously, it is terrible. If you watch it again now, like, do you like horror movies? Yeah, I love yeah. horror movies. Watch it. It is fucking garbage. It's right. terrible. It's so <laughs> bad. Like, but because you're a kid, you don't, like, it's like everything is so obviously, like, Frightening. it's like pink blood, sort well, it's, of like, it's, it's just, just terribly made. Terrible. It comes back to that, like, primal instinct thing. Kids are wired to be scared of shit, so that you, like, be cautious. Very like, weary kids, of everything. And, kids yeah. don't have the encyclopedic knowledge of threats, so they have to respond to threats at a primal level. Like, Yeah, you don't have a database of what is safe and what to yeah. understand and all this. So. I, uh, I had a similar experience. I replayed uh, Fear, one of my favorite, like, first-person oh, yeah, games. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever played it before, but... I think I played two. Fear 2, that's like... what uh, I think... I got it in a humble bundle. It's like a rape at the end of that game. Oh, maybe I haven't then. <laughs> I probably didn't finish it anyway because it takes. I don't usually finish games. I get bored of them. I, uh, I I replayed Fear One, and that game is like it's really interesting, but it's 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 action horror. Like it's it's really weird. It like literally just jumps from being a horror game to like an action game like minutes after each other. And I was fucking terrified of that game as a kid. Huh. Like so scared of it, I would like literally cry from like some scary parts. And I replayed it, like, a week ago, and I was just fucking skipping through every... One thing got me, but that was because it was just a jump scare, but I was yeah. laughing. I was like, I thought this shit was scary. What the fuck? I hate the uh, the jump scare. Yeah, it's... I think it's such a stupid way to scare someone. Like, I'm always mm. so impressed by a movie that can scare me without that. Yeah. And I, have we talked about A Quiet Place? Everyone hates that movie, but I really I, fucking I, loved that movie. I brought it up when we were hanging out one day, and you were like, I love that movie, and I was like, yeah, but what about that lady giving birth? I'm, like, in a yeah, bathroom quiet. Actually, now yeah, I, I forgot about that again. And now, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. It's not realistic, but, going, like... Woo! I mean, horror movies aren't realistic yeah. anyway. Because, mm. you know, yeah. they play on fears, which aren't real. And, like, there's these, like... Um, the, I, I, I don't even think the characters have names in that movie. Like, no, because the entire thing's in, like, speak. sign language and stuff. Like They can still th fucking write shit down, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I, but they don't in the movie, or yeah. at least they don't portray There's it that There's still way. names in sign and language. And I tell you what, it was, like, I watched it with a good friend of mine, and yeah. we both described it as, like, an hour and a half long anxiety attack. Because the whole time, yeah. like, they still have, like, the the little fiddles and all that when, like, stuff yeah. happens, but there's no jump scares ever. And stuff, yeah. So it's like, you, you're ready for it to happen the whole time? You're like, uh, come on, I know it's going to happen, but because there's no sound, like... It's anticip anticipatory. Yeah, like, anticipatory. Yeah. yeah. It's a and like, hard word to pronounce. It, it was, I, I just, it was, like, it's almost a relief to watch it, because it's yeah. like, they did something different. Like, I like that. It, it edges you on a, on a horror level. <laughs> yeah, because I am... I hate to say it, very des like desensitized to horror yeah, movies yeah. now. Like I just watch them for fun. Have you seen The Shining? Yes. What did you think of it? I thought I... it wasn't one of the first horror movies I yeah. watched. Like I watched it after I was like, because I sort of quote unquote. I, actually, I watched it because it was on my list of like top one hundred movies yeah, I have to listing. see. Um, and I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Like it was like. I, I wanted to love it, I really did, yeah. but it's really long, and my attention span is not great. Did you uh, did you find it, like, creepy or, like, unsettling at all, or did uh, you think it was kind of really. weird? I thought it was weird, like, it yeah. was, like, some guy's fever dream. I thought it was, like, yeah, like the horror aspects that they had were cool, because, like, you, I mean, and I like the arc of how, like, the guy's, like, pretty much normal at the start, and yeah. you just slowly see him His get, like, into more madness. and more, yeah. like, fucking insane. Mm. But did you see the uh, the second one that came out this year? I I saw it Adam review it. I think horrible. I like I was watching like Achievement Hunter and stuff because I watch them every now and then. They went like a bunch of promoters and influencers got invited to the house they filmed at. I, I was like, what the, the fuck? It. A sequel to The Shining? What it was the fuck? terrible. It was so boring. Mm. Nothing happened in it. Nothing happens in the first movie, Johnny. Well, that's true too. What's different? 
there's even more nothing, <laughs> I guess. The, the thing, okay, I, I, I rewatched The Shining pretty recent, recently, like a year ago or so, in, like, broad daylight, and it fucking terrified me, because it's, it gets to me on, like, a, a predatory level, like, right. there's something... I always got the sense like I was being watched or like there was just something lurking Remind out of the frame. Remind me of a I few couldn't... scenes because it's been a while since I've seen it. Like, if you remember a few scenes, just so I can sort of like come um, back to it a bit. Like I remember, I remember like distinctly the one where he's like limping with the axe. That's a very yeah. like yeah. He's uh, he's going and he's like breaking down the doors. But there's um there's the one scene of Danny, the little kid, riding around the hotel like on his trike oh, or something. Yeah, there's like no music or something. It's very. At first, there's no music, but then it's, like, very, like, it's cello and, like, cello bass music. Like, right. very, like, drawn out strings. But the thing about it that kind of terrified me is, like, I, uh, I, I, in school, I did a graphic design, right? And I have, I have a very good understanding of, like, 3D space. Mm. And I was watching the scene, just something would, like, troubled me. Like, I felt something, like, wrong with the scene. I was trying to figure out what it was. And, uh, I re I watched, like, a fucking terrible movie, uh, documentary about it called, like, Room 1 or something, but... What they did is that they filmed it in a way where the space couldn't exist physically. Like, Danny's literally riding around in circles, and, like, it's a seamless cuts, but the entire movie kind of features things that can't exist, that are wrong, like, breaks of space. Like, there's a there's a famous, like, account of, uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot his name now. What's the director? I feel so bad about forgetting his name. He's, so like, an I. incredible I director. Remember. It's not Scorsese. No, no. Fuck no, he's, it's, uh, he's the brutal guy. Yeah, it's, uh, he... He would the director. I feel... Spielberg? No, 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 it's it's he's I'm like just a heart... listing ones that I know. <laughs> he did two thousand and one, The Space Odyssey. Um, he he was working on like a Neapolitan film before he died. But I feel like I love him. He's so good. But he's um, what he would do between takes, he would just fuck around with props and stuff. He would move chairs. He would move things. He would like mess with like characters' hair. Like he was very neurotic about the way his films were presented. Like he pioneered technologies. He went to like. NASA to have custom like lenses made for low light like he had a really creepy attention detail so he would just fuck around with things that, so that I respect a lot that the thing is he would do that because it's unsettling and it really got to me I don't mm. like it gets to different people in different ways but to me the whole movie just felt unsettling like something was wrong mm. I, I think I had like a similar yeah um experience when I watched A Quiet Place for oh, me because yeah. like it's it, like Stanley n- Kubrick that's the one yeah that's yeah. the one I was, um, the whole time it was like all, all my preconceptions of every movie I've ever seen, basically a horror movie was for certain things to happen and they didn't happen. And that's what made it terrifying to me. Cause I was like, if this isn't going to happen, then I don't know what is going to happen. I I appreciate that. Like I didn't like the movie myself, but I appreciate it that it didn't. I want to rewatch The Shining now that you said that. Cause like, I I don't know how long ago, maybe like two years ago. Maybe I'd be able to appreciate it a bit more now that, like, I'll be looking for that now. Yeah. And, it's... like, see, that sort of thing, like, when you... It's like, that's why it survived this yeah. long. Because it's like, you've got your attention to detail. Like, mm. you're, you're passionate about a project. Yeah. And that's why it's going to stay around. Another thing, too, is the dialogue is very strange. Like, there are pauses. There are There is weird line deliveries. And, like, I'm very sensitive about that. Like, I listen to my voice a lot when I'm editing this and I kind of li- I hear when I make mistakes like stutters and all that and like weird breaks in my sentences and it's it fucks with me like I don't Yeah yeah. It's really unsettling the dialogue. Mm. Like you'll realize that I when do you remember watch it. the um was he the chef who sort of becomes a main character close to the end? Yeah. Like he was always delivering lines. Yeah, he was terrifying. a chef, yeah. He yeah. was he was for some reason re- he was nice the whole time, wasn't he? He was a good character. Yeah, he But the whole time I was like, he's gonna be bad. Because most of his dialogue is speaking to Danny. Like he has the shining, he can communicate using oh, his that's brain. Right. Yeah. And he was he was always speaking to Danny in like a childlike voice, like, uh, hey Doc, what are we gonna do, Doc? Like very calm oh, and yeah, yeah. It's like, very much like a, a red herring. Like a uh, like a like a therapist sort of like yeah exactly yeah, like that calm neutral sort of, tone which yeah. you don't trust in many horror movies because it's <laughs> yeah. like this person's too too nice yeah so they have to be bad they figured out my brain and that disturbs me yeah yeah because a lot of the, it's kind of annoying nowadays I feel like when I sit down to watch a movie in the first ten minutes I can see the ending yeah like like yeah. like you can almost you can predict it you can almost and when i'm right it doesn't like i'm just like you know what yeah i, I mean fair enough and when i'm wrong that's when i like a movie yeah that's when i like a movie because i am right more than i'm wrong 
it's it's like yeah it's like you've done something different because like everything is so formulaic that when it does happen that's what makes me happy yeah that's when i like a movie well that's that's kind of the same principle behind behind laughing like you can boil it down to like the neural like energy like laughing is when you expect something to happen and it doesn't and that surprises you and that energy needs to go somewhere else so it goes into laughing for some fucking strange reason huh. it's like that like you know you there's so much anticipation anticipation for something that when it doesn't happen, like it you've got to do something else or like that has to go somewhere, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think you can sort of like tie that into life as well, you know? Yeah. Like when you're the the best things happen are like surprises, you know? You're okay. never you're never expecting so, the the best things to happen in yeah, your life. I guess. You you can't really plan to like meet a nice person or like be, find a new friend or whatever. You know, it just happens. Okay. That's it. How, how is that a? Can we end on that? Is that yeah, nice? It's like fifteen minutes. Yeah. Fifty minutes. I mean, we we've talked about a bunch of random shit, but like, feel like people like listening to that, and we do kind of relate it. Like, we're yeah, talking. Yeah. About- I I actually had like plans for it to sort of tangent off into a bit of a more like laid back episode yeah. anyway, because like, we're we're pretty information heavy a lot yeah. of the time, and anecdotally uh, heavy, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And I just like to be a little bit like casual as well thing is when we stray off it's it's segueing so we're still talking about the mind you know yeah like that's what we were talking about the entire thing like the mind and psyche so yeah we, yeah. we I, I we always tend to go for like a broad subject so that we can talk about yeah sub things otherwise if we just if i just sit here and read the wikipedia page on free will then yeah. no one's gonna fucking <laughs> listen so yeah. anyway i think that's a good place to end the this week's episode yeah thank you all for listening um and you don't have free will okay User has left your channel.